Hi, and just today we are going to study the concept of non-exact homogeneous differential equation. So in order to understand the concept of non-exact homogeneous differential equation, let us take an example. So x square times y dx minus x cube plus y cube dy is equal to 0. The differential equation is non-exact when dabba m upon dabba y is not equal to dabba n by dabba x. Now we know the general form of our differential equation that is m times dx plus n times dy is equal to 0. So in this case uh, m is equal to x square times y and n is equal to negative x cube plus y cube that is negative x cube negative y cube so first let us identify whether the given differential equation is exact or non-exact so if the differential equation is non-exact then dabba m upon dabba y is not equal to dabba n by dabba x so dabba m by dabba y is equal to x square and dabba n by dabba x is equal to negative x to the power 2 so as dabba m by dabba y is not equal to dabba n by dabba x so this differential equation is non-exact differential equation now what do we mean by homogeneous here if we closely look that the power of x is 2 the power of x is 1 and the overall power is 3 and here we have the power as 3 and here also we have the power of y is 3 so if the power of all the terms are same then the differential equation is called as homogeneous so in the case of such case the integrating factor is given by 1 by m times x plus n times y so here it will be 1 by uh, m is x square times y times x plus uh, n is negative x cube negative y cube times y so this is gonna be 1 by x cube times y plus negative x cube y and negative y to the power 4 so 1 upon x cubed times y and negative x cubed times y and negative y to the power 4 so this positive x cubed y and negative x cubed y will get cancelled so integrating factor is negative 1 upon y to the power 4 and when we multiply this integrating factor with the given differential equation then this differential equation will turn into an exact differential equation let's see how it works so if we multiply this integrating factor x square times y divided by y to the power 4 with negative sign plus x cube plus y cube divided by y to the power 4 here we have dx here we have dy is equal to 0 so here we have negative x square by y to the power 3 times dx plus x cube plus y cube divided by y to the power 4 dy which is equal to 0. So here our m is equal to negative x square by y cube and n is equal to x cube plus y cube divided by y to the power 4. So dabba m by dabba y is equal to negative x to the power 2 and here we have negative 3 y to the power negative 4 so finally we get 3 times x to the power 2 times y to the power negative 4 and dabba n by dabba x is equal to here we need to apply u by v rule so y to the power 8 
this is the first function and the derivative of second function with respect to x is 3x square and first function derivative of second function negative x cube plus y cube times the derivative of the first function is with respect to x is 0 so this will be equal to 3x to the power 2 times y to the power 4 by y to the power 8 so this will be x 3x square times y to the power negative 4 so here as we can see now dabba m upon dabba y is equal to dabba n by dabba x <coughs> so finally the result will be if any integrating factor is multiplied with non-exact differential equation then it turns out to be an exact differential equation so if any integrating factor is multiplied with non-exact differential equation then the given non-exact differential equation turns into an exact differential equation so let's take a second example and here we go our second example is y square dx plus x square minus xy minus y square dy is equal to 0 so this let us calculate first uh, dabba m by dabba y so this will be equal to dabba y dabba y of y square which will be equal to 2 times y and dabba n by dabba x which will be equal to 2x negative y so as dabba m by dabba y is not equal to dabba n by dabba x so the given differential equation is non-exact and if you closely look at the power of the y is 2 the power of x square is also 2 and here the power of x is 1 the power of y is 1 and the overall power of this term is 2 and the power of y is 2 here so this is homogeneous differential equation so in the case of non-exact and homogeneous differential equation the integrating factor is equal to 1 upon mx plus ny which is gonna be 1 upon m is y square times x plus n is x square minus xy minus y square times y so which is equal to 1 upon y square times x plus x square y minus xy square minus y cube so this will be 1 upon y square times x plus x square times y negative xy square negative y cube so this term will get cancelled and we are left with 1 upon x square times y minus y cube so the integrating factor for this non-exact and homogeneous differential equation is 1 upon x square y minus y cube and if you multiply this integrating factor with the given non-exact and homogeneous differential equation then this equation will turn into exact differential equation so this was all the information regarding non-exact and homogeneous differential equation and thank you for watching this video